Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter 10, lesson six. We're gonna go ahead and get started um, with number two. It says Paulina works out with 2.5 kilogram mass. What is the mass of 2.5 kilograms in grams? So, just like before, we're gonna use our King Henry, okay? King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. We are going from grams, nope, sorry. We're going from kilograms to grams, okay? So. I wrote that right here. We're going to move our decimal one, two, three times to the right. So one, two, three times, fill those in with zeros, 2,500 grams, okay? All right, Alex lives 500 yards from the park. How many inches does Alex live from the park? So if we're gonna start with what we know, which is 500 yards. That's what the problem gives us, okay? And it wants it all the way in inches, okay? So we have to do the conversion of one yard is three feet and one foot is 12 inches. Then we're gonna go ahead and multiply straight across. So now obviously the bottoms are just gonna do one, so we don't have to divide by anything. We're gonna do 500 times three. Well, three times five is 15, and then we still have the two zeros, so 1,500, and I'm gonna multiply that by 12, okay? So Two times zero, two times zero, two times five is 10, carry the one, two times one is two, plus one is three. And we're gonna go tick, tack, toe, and one times 1,500 is 1,500. Add those up. Zero, 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 eight, one, one, eight, comma, zero, zero, zero inches. Okay. 18,000 inches. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys do four and five. I have set them up for you here, okay? So on this one, meters into decameters. Deca is the big D. The little d is usually lowercase if it wants decimeters or it'll spell it out, okay? So meters to decameters, I'm just moving the decimal and 7,000 pounds, how many tons? So you're gonna have to divide 7,000 by 2,000, okay? All right, we're gonna go on to the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always, and we're gonna go down and do the spiral review. So Tara lives 35,000 meters from her grandparents' house. How many kilometers does she live? Okay, so three, five, zero, zero, zero. I'm gonna put that decimal in. And to go from meters to kilometers. Well, here's meters under unit and kilometers is all the way over here. So we're gonna move it one, two, three times to the left. One, two, three times to the left, 35 kilometers, done. Okay, Dane's puppy weighed eight ounces when it was born. Now the puppy weighs 18 times as much when it was born. How many pounds? Okay, well, first we need to find out how many ounces. So 18 times eight, okay. Eight times eight is 64, carry the six. Eight times one is eight plus six is 14, okay. So now we have 144 ounces when 16 ounces is one pound, okay. So I'm gonna have to do 144 divided by 16, okay, which 16 is not going to go into 1 or 14, so I'm just going to do multiples of 16 until I get to 144, okay? So, I know 16, I know 32, I know 48, I know 64, I know 80, I know 96. I would be lost after that for the most part, so I'm going to grab scrap paper, and I'm going to go 16 times 7. Two, 112, getting closer guys, okay, 16 times 8, okay, 48, 128, okay, and 16 times 9, that's 54, and 
14, 144. There we go. So it's going to be nine pounds. There we go. Okay. All right. A carpenter is cutting dowels from a piece of wood that is 10 inches long. How many half inch dowels can the carpenter cut? Well, if you cut 10 into halves, then we double the number. So we're going to have 20. Okay. What ordered pair describes the location of point X? So we would go over three and up two. Done. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 10.6. Come on back for 10.7. See you soon.